And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce my next guest, celebrating his last day of summer vacation, soon to be seen in the seventh grade. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome my son, Elliot. How are you folks doing tonight? I love playing the main room. Can we please stop doing this? <laughs> hey, Rose Hips. I want you to meet someone. This is my biological son, Elliot. Elliot, this is my ex-wife, Rosario. <laughs> Hello, little man. Hola. Okay, time to go, kiddo. I told your mom you'd be back by two. You okay to get home? You need anything? You need any money? No, I'm fine. How about you? You need any money? Oh, Elliot, he's crazy. Actually, I might want to get a hot dog later. <laughs> there you go. I, think, um, I just need one. Yeah, take two, just in case. You're a good son. <laughs> Come on, mijo. I'll take you to the bus stop. You can ride on the back of my moped. Karen, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm worried. My hair's never looked better, but am I a good dad? I mean, I want so badly for him to like me, but I can't tell if he does. Well, honey, you know if you want people to like you, you have to buy them things. Karen, that is so superficial. Honey, why do you like me? What do you think I should get him? Well, school's starting soon. How about a nice flask or a pencil box with a false bottom? No. Something he needs. Hmm. Like back-to-school clothes. Ooh. I wonder what the kids are wearing these days. Probably not leg warmers and jazz pants like when I was a kid. <laughs> well, hey, I've got an idea. I'm going to the Barney sale with Rosario this weekend. Why don't you just come along? Well, I'll need a little money from the ATM. <sighs> Denied. Denied. Approved. Now feel free to pick out whatever you need for school supplies. Moisturizers, hair gels, body glitter, all your seventh grade essentials. Well, uh, maybe I should just get some pants. Great. Who do you like? Gucci, Pucci, Fiorucci, Stanley Tucci, Hoochie Gucci. <laughs> and that's too good for my boy. Uh, I kind of like baggy shorts. <laughs> What else do you like? Do they have any hockey jerseys? <laughs> Dear Lord, I knew I was brought into this boy's life for a reason. P.S. Give me a sign if you think I should get some highlights. <laughs> Elliot, what do you think? I don't know, Jack. Well, I do. It's the perfect outfit for the first day at school. So get out of here and let me see what it looks like. Okay. Haley, Joel Osment, you look fantastic! Do you really think so? Well, yeah, the kids at your school would kill for this look. That's what I'm afraid of. I will be killed. What's the matter? Don't you like it? I look like Rookie Martin. So you do like it. Oh, that's a bad thing. I'm sorry. Well, that's all right. If you don't like it, we can get something else. Go change. Okay, I just think... Wearing leather pants to pee would be a mistake. Then, then why did you say you liked it when I picked it up for you? Well, you seem so excited about them, and... What? I just wanted you to like me. Well, you don't have to get these clothes for me to like you, Elliot. I do like you. We're, we're good. We are? Yeah. You know, besides, I'm your father. I may need a kidney one day. <laughs> I guess this is where I give you a little hit on the shoulder. <laughs> Remind me to teach you how to hit like a girl. <laughs> Come on, let's go get some clothes somewhere else. Where do you want to go? Uh, there's a Target near my house. Great, let's go there. Yeah, it's right next to the place where my mom gets her highlights. What's new with my son, Elliot, you ask? Oh, boy! Hey, how you doing? I'll call you, or not. <laughs> wow, Elliot, the hair, it's... it's very... nice day for a white wedding. <laughs> well, I think it's cool. Chicks seem to like it. Do you like it? I think it's very... No, 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 no. If you want to know about gay stuff, ask Grace. If you want to know about girl stuff, ask Will. <laughs> Come on, Jackie. 
Come to the islands, man. I promised his mother I'd be there. It's Bonnie, open up. Oh, that's her, okay. She really counts on me, you know? Looks up to me in a way. And why wouldn't she? She's shorter. <laughs> Jack McFall, and I'm gonna kick your sorry ass. I mean, what the hell were you thinking? I come home from a double shift and I find Johnny Quest in my kitchen eating a bologna sandwich? <laughs> hey, how about a thank you from taking your kid from bland to blonde? Huh? Hmm, let's see. Squeaky, rude, drunk. You must be Karen. Oh, sweet. He faxed you my bio. <laughs> Listen, I don't mind Elliot hanging around with you, Jack, but when he comes home with the gay haircut, looking all downtown weird... That's a got buka shiki. <laughs> At least his hair says something now. It says pow, bam. <laughs> Before the hairpins start flying, maybe I can help. Now, Roger, is it? Bonnie. Oh, pretty. Listen, Bonnie, I've got this maid, Rosario. Been with me forever. Now, I have had her stomach stapled, her teeth fixed, her hair dyed. She's been demold, declawed, deloused. What's your point? My point is. I think I may have broken her spirit. How would you like to come work for me? Okay. <laughs> you know, if there were any justice in the world, there'd be an alligator somewhere carrying you as a handbag. <laughs> Look, Jack, bottom line, okay? I'm his mother, I make the rules. Well, here's a bottom line for your bottom line. <laughs> I'm his father, and I get to make up some of the rules, too. This is a big news flash for you. You're not his father. I'm his father and his mother. And until he was eight years old, I was Santa freaking Claus, all right? <laughs> you got no rights, Jack. You're just a test tube that I picked up before they threw it away. I'm sick of it. I don't want you to see my son anymore. Uh, what's going on? Why aren't you at school? Why are you with him? And why haven't you turned into a bat? <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. Elliot, Karen, I believe you have something you want to say to Bonnie? Um, I, I got out of school early and went over to Jack's. Elliot, how? how? I signed him out. I'm sorry, young lady. You're going to have to speak up. I signed him out! You kidnapped my kid? It was his idea. You drove? Yeah, well, you're the one who wanted to see Jack. Well, you're the one who brought the attendance lady. Well, yeah, you're the one who brought the attendance lady. All right, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> Karen, so help me God, I'm two seconds away from not giving you a spanking. <laughs> Elliot. What were you thinking? I wanted to see him. I missed him, Mom. Go to your room. Not you, him. No. Good. That kid is trouble. And you, go to your limo and think about what you've done. What? Limo! Huh. Now, Jack, don't you remember a conversation we had where I said I didn't want you to see my kid? Or was the soundtrack of a Vita blaring too loud in your head? <laughs> Hey, I wasn't part of any of this, okay? They came to me, and the first thing I did was bring Elliot back here. Are you wearing blush? <laughs> okay, the second thing I did... <laughs> was bring Elliot back here. Good. But the point is, he's here. And you'll never have to see me again. So I'm just gonna take my gay self back to my gay apartment, live my gay life, and have a gay old time. <laughs> what are you doing? What is that? Oh, come on. The whole thing about the gay haircut, I know what's going on here. The reason you reacted so strongly about the hair is because you have a problem with gay people. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I do. Yes, you do. I'm gay, Jack. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm gay. Prove it. Say something lesbianic. <laughs> Home Depot. Katie Lang, you are a lesbian. <laughs> Why didn't Elliot tell me? Because Elliot doesn't know. You never told him? No, I never did. And I think maybe that's why I overreacted about the hair. I spent the last 12 years of my life trying to figure out how to tell my son I'm gay, and you walk in and do it with a handshake. I really want to be a part of his life, Bonnie. 
And you should be, Jack. But you gotta remember something, all right? I'm in charge of his hair. I'm in charge of no leather pants. I'm in charge of telling him I'm gay. My way, my time. Agreed. Good. Wow. Elliot has two gay parents. <laughs> That's like every kid's dream. <laughs> Let's hope so. You know, I can see why he likes you. Thank you.